Um, I tried to give her a small meal this morning so the x-ray wouldn't show all poop. So we did try doing that. So she did have a little bit of a... Now I gotta get all these guys put up because um, they get in a frenzy when somebody goes somewhere and it's not them. So it makes it easier on me if I just put everybody to bed and then I'll get Eva with her head harness and we'll head out and we'll go see how many puppies she has. Now she looks pretty big but she did last time so I'm thinking maybe she has this about the same amount, nine. I'm guessing nine, so we'll see. But she's over here resting. She's on the other side of the gate because I just took a shower and <laughs> she's been getting into stuff. Like I just caught her with an empty can of dog food. She was licking it out and I don't want her to cut her tongue or hurt herself. So I put her in here. This is, she didn't seem to care. She's still hungry, but we'll get something to eat as soon as we get back or maybe even on the ride home if she's been a good girl, which she usually is. But we'll get ready to go. So we made it to the reproductive vet. Um, we just got here, so we're checking in via text and they let us know, they come out and get us. Eva did very good on the ride. Sometimes she, um, we get going fast on the highway, she gets nervous and sits on the floor, but I think she realized that she's too big for the floor, so she pretty much stayed up on the seat this time. She's gotten really big. So we'll get to see in a few minutes what we got for babies in there. So we just got back, Eva and I, from the reproductive vet to get her x-ray. Ooh, it's hot out. And um, a lot of times with x-rays, I stopped doing them years ago because they, were, they weren't they were accurate. Um, but I started redoing them again, I guess with Nala, just having the single tin, I redid it with, I did a x-ray with her. And I really wasn't happy with the results of that x-ray. Not the results, but the quality of it. The x-ray was very, I, like you could barely see one puppy. We knew there was one puppy because of the ultrasound. And I could barely make out the puppy in, um, in the x-ray. But I thought, okay, I'll try Eva. I'm just curious, you know. Um, we wanted Eva to whelp at home, so I wanted to get an idea of the litter size to what to expect. So I brought her in this morning. Again, they took like four x-rays and they're all really poor quality x-rays. Um, so you could only see the bottom portion of her stomach, the top portion. Um, I did give her a light breakfast, but I guess she still was full of poop and um, you can see every inside organ, <laughs> so that kind of couldn't see the top part of her stomach. So if there's puppies there, I don't know, I couldn't see them, neither could the vet. So what we did end up seeing is at least, we saw six. We saw a definite six. We could um, map out the six and they were all around the bottom of her belly. So. Maybe it is just six, or maybe there's more up in the top. I won't know until she gives birth um, next month, you know, beginning of October. But um, she is pretty big, and he said she's pretty big too. So he's thinking at least six plus, because he wasn't confident with giving me the six for an answer either, because you couldn't see the top portion of her belly, no matter how much we contrast and messed with the, the x-ray, the most you could pick up was the sixth puppy. Like that one was hard to pick up. We had to do like contrasting and stuff, but we did find number six and it was um, the lower belly on the left-hand side. So closest up to her rib cage. So, I mean, Eva does technic um, normally have like eight or nine. So, I mean, six or seven. It's not a far stretch. Um, they look good size, but I wish I just had a clear x-ray. And I don't know if it's because my girls are all thick. Um, he was kind of a thick girl and so is Nala. Um, they're both in the 130 plus pounds. So that could be. Um, whenever I bring Ebby our Blue Dane, um, 
she's had 14 before and the vet's pretty spot on and hers are crystal clear but Ebby's also a lean cuisine so I'm thinking maybe that something definitely has to do with it but I was a little disappointed because I was hoping for a clear view. Um, not disappointed with the quantity, disappointed that I couldn't see better. You know what I mean? I'm, I still feel like when she whelps, I'm, it's still going to be a surprise. Is it six? We definitely saw six, but is that it? We won't know. Um, so these puppies are all have homes. They are accounted for. And um, whoever doesn't make it, uh, getting these puppies will go to the next litters that are coming up. Um, we're still waiting for Lexi Lou to go into heat, um, but it should be. I mean, sometimes it's like that. They don't go exactly when you think they're going to go, but they still will go into heat when they're ready. So we're just waiting, and um, she does have um, a waiting list also. But yeah, Eva was in good spirits. She was a very good girl at the vet, so we did stop at McDonald's and get her a cheeseburger and some chicken nuggets. And my birds are fighting over here about something. I just got home, so uh, we went back through and fed everybody. They're used to getting treats in the afternoon, so God forbid I'm not here for the treats. So they got their treats, and um, it ended up being a very warm day out today. I'm dressed in jeans and I'm um, kind of hot, so but it looks like we might get some rain. But Eva's upstairs resting. We just got home. She had another meal. She was hungry, and she's up in the whelping room. Uh, she is pretty big. If it's just six puppies, those are going to be some tanks. But we all know what Farley and um, excuse me, we all know what Hurley and Eva have. They do have big puppies. Uh, Magnolia is a prime example. She's a tank. Uh, sweetest disposition though so um, that's the update for now uh, well now it's just anticipating uh, when she goes into labor he said I could go back for a recheck but I'm not going to stress out Eva uh, it's not worth it to her or me we have a general idea of what to expect if we end up with more that's a blessing if we don't we're happy anyway because as long as Eva's happy and healthy and that's all that matters she's a very sweet girl she's a very good girl today but she would not take treats for the vet nope she was fine until he looked in her ears her ears are a sore subject with her because she gets ear infections easily so she's just clearing up on an ear infection about a week ago so when he went to go in her look in her ear she wasn't liking him after that, so she wouldn't even, she snubbed him for a treat, and that's not Eva, because just this morning she was stealing a dog can of food off the counter. <laughs> She's hungry. So we will keep you updated, and we're hoping to whelp these babies at home. Um, we will uh, cover it on uh, a video or we may do live. Sometimes we used to do uh, live videos of the puppies. We'll definitely do that because it's easier to show the new owners what their little puppies are doing, what they look like. And I myself like seeing the puppies, not just picture perfect pictures. I like to see them playing, interacting with mom and each other. So um, we have about today's day 54 so we have a minimum of well not even a minimum 10 or less days and she should go into uh, labor so being day 64 is usually our girls don't go quite that far they go day 60 61 but um, so Eva's on the long sh the home stretch so we will see and I'll keep you guys updated you have a good day